What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today we're here with uh, Kevin. And what did you do today? I got seventh place at the uh, Toronto Regional. Congratulations. What deck we played? Uh, Rescue Ace. Nice, yeah. nice. So here's a beautiful play mat. It's a very nice play mat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to get right into it? Do you want to give any shout outs? Uh, I guess before, before we start the one, shout out Matt, the architect of the deck, you know. The race master? Yeah. Some might uh, even say the race. Whoa, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Anyways. <laughs> anyways. Anyways, anyways, anyways. All right. Uh, I guess I'll uh, start with the rescue card. One go. lifter. Sad. Two lifter. <laughs> a bit less sad. Uh, two hydrant. Only really need two now. And then the big dudes are two preventer, one turbulence. It's more or less standard ratio now. Nice. Um, and then a reason to play this deck uh, three impulse, fire engine. Uh, I resolved this so many times today. This card is really oppressive because a lot of decks uh, don't really have a way to out bodies on their like turn zero. Or um, when they do, they kind of have to go out of their way. And if they don't out it cleanly, then you start with bodies, and that's never okay uh, for them. Especially like if this resolves, this gets uh, this gets the lifter. You know, lifter gets a spell. It's um, you're quite ahead uh, going into your turn. Okay. Um, uh, spell traps, two emergency. Um, I'm playing 45 cards, I didn't really want to play 3 because I felt like it might just like dead draw with emergency and nothing, so I kind of want to keep my cards live-ish. Okay. Uh, 1 HQ, uh, and then the usual, rescue, alert, uh, contain, and extinguish. Usual lineup, uh, side and reinforce uh, for back row removal. Um, yeah, this is a pretty standard lineup. Okay. Um, and then the uh, Sinful Spells cards, uh, so adds a lot of consistency to the deck. Uh, three Wanted, Two Witch, uh, the OSS to Search, and then um, the actual best starter in the deck is Three Bonfire. Uh, it's unfortunate that Joel's kind of coming back into the format, but yeah. uh, this card is so good because it gives you your full combo and an extra body. Nice. So it's the biggest push uh, going second. Uh, popular for the Bonfire. Um, and then Did you draw Poplar at all today? Uh, a few times. You, Poplar's not a terrible draw because normal Poplar is the same as normal Hydrant. The two card combos are basically the same. Oh, okay. So um, if you draw like Poplar Alert, Poplar Emergency, it's fine as long as it resolves. Um, I think I had one hand where I drew Poplar OSS, but that's kind of the cost of playing the deck yeah, of course. Uh, this way. Sometimes you draw, uh, sometimes you draw your bricks. Uh, three Deception and the Hallowed. Um, it's another engine that we tacked on with the <laughs> new set to the deck. Um, really good at making the gate. Uh, yep. Also a starter. Uh, this loses slightly less to Droll than Bonfire, just because um, if you get Droll on the search, you can at least still go Hallowed, uh, send this, make it a gate. Um, I did my my round eight, I um, I played against Centurion. He had Retaliating C. Uh, I, I didn't get hit with it, but it's like, it's like one of those things that um, a lot of decks are playing, if a lot of decks are playing yeah. this engine, it kind of gets, uh, the tech cards kind of get really, like, niche. Did you find do. that a lot of people were hand-trapping this engine right away as soon as they saw it? Um, or did not, they let this resolve? Not really, I think, I don't think I got hand-trapped on this, uh, once, but at, uh, so I played the same list at YCS Vancouver, I was out, uh, around 10, I was, uh, uh, Niagara, um, I was out round 10, uh, I was a point off top cut, and um, I this did get interacted with a decent amount. Um, but I think now I saw a lot more retaliatings in, oh, in people's then. side decks, or like when people side them out, because I think um, people weren't sure if like every deck maybe would play them back then. But now it's like now it's like all, all, all the good decks are going to be playing this, so yeah. retaliating is a I guess a decent uh, side card. Yeah, there's just more consistency. Uh, this is like 13 starters and 45. It's a little bit it's a little bit bricky, but. That's how it is with Rescue Ace. You kind of have to accept it. Yeah. You have to. Uh, this deck's a little bit high rolly, um, but when you go second with like the good hands, you're like you feel good into almost any board. Yeah. Uh, and then I played uh, 13 non engine, uh, just what I feel are the best ones. Uh, three ash, uh, three infirm for hand traps. Uh, three more hand traps. Uh, three Domus impulse. This card is insane. Insane. Um, I played against two Mimigools in a row and. I'm sorry, I drew this, like, I think out of five games I played, I drew this four times. Oh no. So, I'm sorry. Uh, and That's then really good. the uh, three Super Poly and a Cult Buy. Uh, Super Poly is just really good into a lot of decks right now. Um, there's really 
not that many decks I feel where it um is not good into. Yeah, it's just like it doesn't hit or it's completely dead. Yeah. The only one off the top of my head is like that might might see play is like Kashira. As a terrible against voiceless, but like you don't really I I just ended up like I wasn't really preparing for those. Yeah. And then just the one called by um feels mandatory this format. Yeah. Too many hand traps. Too many and, and this deck sometimes can feel fragile the hand traps, so the call by is just nice. Insurance uh, also helps combat like main deck Mulcharmies from uh, yep. Ten Pi, which I got very lucky and I played zero Ten Pi. Nice. So we take those. Uh, extra. Yeah. Uh, shout out the boys. The boys. This is not nuts. This is very fun. Uh, Links just uh, pretty standard. Did you ever anima someone today? I always have to ask mm. because I feel like it never comes up, but it's just so important. It's so scary. It's, it's just good to get get a level one engrave. Yeah. But um. I had a few times where it almost came up, but it felt like it, um, I felt like I had a better play. Oh, okay, okay. Kind of, but it could have come up. Um, one Dark, one Hida, um, IP, Phoenix, it's pretty standard. IP, like, you could, you could try cutting it, but it's, it does, it does come up. It also comes up when you get nipped to link yeah. off, like, a token. I made it uh, a lot today, actually, with, um, Sunlight Wolf and IP. Yeah, one, one, one of the things you can do is end on like, when you, when you draw a lot of gas, you go interrupted. It doesn't happen a lot, but it happens. You go Sunlight Wolf with an IP under it, and like Sunlight Wolf probably added you back like a... Uh, Honestly, added, anything at this point. Yeah, like, anyone rescue his names, and then you have like, um, your set emergency, you contribute it, and you don't have to go minus off field. That was nice. Mm -hmm. um, How was Sunlight Wolf today? That was okay. Came up. I wanted to play, I actually wanted to play Goddess, so... When we built this for Niagara, uh, Sunlight Wolf was kind of the 15th uh, extra deck card. Yeah. And um, I wanted to play Goddess. It actually came up in a, in a match that I drew. Um, and Matt was getting screamed out to play Sunlight Wolf. And as a result, I was getting screamed out to play Sunlight Wolf. So I played it. It came up. Uh, not. I don't think it was too high impact for me there, but uh, today was okay. Okay. Uh, it came up a few times. Yeah. Yeah. I added a lot of action. Yeah, it depends. Uh, this, could be, this could be a lot of cards. This could be like Tifon. This could be Goddess. This is kind of a flex spot, but for now it's on Wolf and it's felt like... I was going to say, another thing is, like, yeah. from what it sounds like, it didn't come up for you too much, but it came up for you, which means like, it's better to have it when you need it than yeah. to not have it when it, you need it. it, it can, right? It's like potentially, yeah. it's one of those cards, like also Goddess and uh, Tifon are like this. Yeah. They're, they don't come up much, but they're like kind of game winning when they, uh, when they when do. They do yeah. yeah. Uh, two SP, because it's Rescue Race. <laughs> and you need two. Uh, one for the combo, one to go into if you had a lot of gas and you had an IP. Yep. Uh, the big links, just Princess, Raging Atlantis. Standard. Uh, pretty standard, yeah. I want to play Access Code, but it doesn't come up as much anymore. Yep. Especially when you're playing like, uh, what is it? Uh, Dominus Impulse, you can't, um, can't make really access. make Selene. <laughs> yeah. You can't really make Selene, so you have to use like Nightmare Your Cards or like 3. So not um, very good. Yeah. It's okay, but not great, yeah. Uh, and then the Azamina stuff, uh, one RC. Uh, one Sylvia, it's pretty, it's pretty standard, just searcher and negate. Yep. I made this quite a few times today, it was really good. Uh, I got called by once, oh, that was very sad. That's actually <laughs> kind of sad, yeah. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, shout out to Rayon right me with a call by on this, it's unfortunate. Um, and then super polite targets, just one mud, one guru, pretty standard. These are the best ones. Yeah, just the best ones, most generic. Um, yep. Most decks will play into these at some point. Yep. Um, and then I guess the side deck. Um, so, more hand traps, draw cards really, uh, three furos, a uh, card of the format, one of the cards of the format. Question, do you think it's better in the side or in the main? I think it depends on your deck. Okay. Um, I think this deck definitely doesn't want to see, like, dead cards in a game one going second kind of yeah. situation. And, it, like, if you draw this return, it's just miserable. Yeah. Or, like, it, it doesn't feel too great because, uh, when I side it, I pair it with, like, three Fantas. So this uh. can also be, like, Perulia, but, um... I just kind of like, it was really 50-50 between these two. I know you played Perulia. I did. I didn't see it a single time. Though, oh, so. okay. Well, <laughs> there um, you go. Uh, Fantas is really good. I started like, Fantas lets you like, not only do you start with like, like the two, um, where, where is this? Uh, not this. Uh, like the two rescue ace bodies. Yeah. Uh, if you like, if you have this if, on board. If you high roll, you're starting with like this. And it's just super oppressive because yeah. you threaten so much right off the right off rip when you uh, start your turn. Uh, Fantasma's good. I really do think this hits most of the um, That's most the of the meta right now. So like, no reason not to. The only, it's a bit worse than um, it's worse than Perulia into like some rogue decks. But I kind of want to just respect those. Yeah. Um, worst case, I kept it in with Super Poly in a blind scoop situation where I found blind scoop. This uh -huh. one have come up. I just described Super Poly. 
Um, and then uh, three cosmic is regional. I this did save me against anti spell today. It's very good. Nice. Uh, and then for going first, um, mostly I was uh, scared tenpai. So three thrust because people are like charming you. They're pruning you. If you get if you have thrust, you can literally just do nothing and thrust for EDG. And Insane card this format. Uh, this card's very good. Um, sometimes you have to be careful because Snake Eye can kill you under this sometimes. Mm. But so if you pass on like nothing, nothing, it can be scary. But um, most of the time it's doing like enough. And then uh, threatening war for ten pie because for now it's outside of their um, for now it's outside of their cross out range. Yeah. They might cross out Deviar and stuff. Um, not sure how much longer this will last, but this does blow out ten pie way harder. Yeah. Uh, the one thing you lose is like. Um, against the other shifter deck in the format, like uh, Ritual Beast, which I haven't played, I'm not really respecting too much. Mm -hmm. um, this is just worse than D-Bearer, because it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, and last card for Siding was uh, Reinforce. Of course. So, what you do with this is it replaces... Um, it replaces Contain uh, going first in matchups where you uh, expect back row removal, or you expect them to remove your back row. Yeah. And it basically like turns you into... Um, it turns your deck from you're trying to stop what they're doing to reinforce you, like reinforce the turbulence, you boost it, make it unaffected by monster effects. Make it really, really hard to kill you, and the graveyard effect resets the spell. So you're just playing for turn three, because yeah. this deck's turn three is insane. You get um, you get the field spell, you get HQ, you start drawing cards, you reset turbulence, and... Uh, and you can yeah, push for a game a lot of times. Yeah, a lot time, of, right? yeah, yeah, it's really hard for a lot of decks to keep up with you in the grind. My round eight, I did play against Centurion. Uh, our game two lasted like half an hour. Um, because uh, he was drawing a bunch of cards, I was resolving HQ. We we're just kind of staring at each other for a bit because he has lots of like uh, graver effects and stuff that like kind of float. So it was hard to like kind of clean kill him. But um, yeah, this like this card definitely kept me kept me in against that. Well, congratulations! It was big. Thank Seventh you, place. This is really good. Yeah, 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 I appreciate the profile. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Do you want to say anything before we head out? Yeah, uh, one last shout out. Uh, just all the untouched guys. Uh, always. Shout out to the boys. The boys. Right. Your Hita sponsor. Oh yeah, shout out, shout out Yong Ho. Um, yeah, the, the Hita. Uh, oh. uh, it's been, I've, I've been borrowing this ever since like Rescuers came out, so it's been like a year. Oh. Uh, so. Big thanks, shout out sponsor. Yeah. Shout out, shout out my sponsor, Yong Ho. And his. Uh, and his Hita. Other, other like Hita. And then nice. the Hita. It is your friend. Very, very pretty card. Yeah. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate you. Congratulations again. With that, yeah, they go starting out. Peace.